Welcome to Disc and Balls Golf Channel, where today we are dying a disc. Uh, I got this one, I've already dyed it. Fucking dog, it's an unbelievable, unbelievable. There's a lot of ways to dye discs. You can dye them to look good, you can dye them for function, for visibility or whatever, I guess. Most, most of the time you want a cool design. Um, this is uh, strictly for another video. I want like a wedge in the disc that I could use to measure rotations. And uh, so there's, there's you know, plenty of ways to dye it, very easy. This is gonna be ultra basic and also uh, not gonna look magnificent because it's more function over form. So we're gonna do that. Uh, firstly, I'm just gonna try to dye a wedge in here, mostly along this purple line here. Uh, this was the attempt of like another like different die. Didn't really work out. So I'm definitely not going to show the entire taping process. In fact, I'm not even going to like measure the middle. I'm just going to kind of estimate. Actually, you can see a little dot on there. Good enough for me. I should get scissors or a knife. I do have a knife. Perfect. A plus. I kind of missed the middle. Whatever, it's close enough. So, with electrical tape, I mean, it's not the best at all. Uh, usually, if you have a, a what is it, cricket, cry cut cricket machine, that's really great. Um, but, because you can do actual prints and cut it out with a X Acto knife and make it look all clean and awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to finish taping this guy up. If it bleeds a little right here, not the worst thing in the universe because, again, I'm not, I'm not doing this to make it look pretty. Um, if it does look pretty, I'm not going to complain. But uh, <laughs> that's not the goal. Okay, so after not a lot of time at all, we have the disc all masked up. And uh, when it comes to disc dyeing in general, you will need a base. It's going to be glue. It can be lotion. It can be um, shaving cream is the cheapest option. I, I myself enjoy a good shaving cream dye. With a liquid dye, this is RIT Dye More for synthetic. Uh, make sure that if you are buying a, a dye that you are getting something that will do synthetics. The RIT Dye More will do synthetic and the I Dye Poly. Not the iodine normal. Make sure it's the poly. I accidentally bought some red uh, eye dye, and it's not the poly. And now I have red dye. I have no fucking idea what I'm going to do with. Anyway, so you need something to hold the dye. In this case, we've got just standard multi-purpose wood glue. I swear. Oh, okay. I was like, man, I swear I bought like the fucking school kind of glue. That would do stuff. That's gross. Um, we're just going to dump that into any sort of... Sometimes a paper plate works. Sometimes, uh, in this case, I'm using a little pie dish. doesn't vastly matter. Uh, I'm not going to fill it in too crazy because I only need part of the thing to keep the die. Um, just a segment. So I might not even put the whole disc in. I might just put like a corner. But, let's see, so about here, brr. so, uh, I probably, lotion would probably be fine for this, uh, glue tends to kind of hold the dye in a particular spot a little more, uh, which is fine. And, uh, you can get some good, some plenty, like, cool designs with just, uh, um, just the uh, powder, the iodide poly powder. Iodide poly is a powder dye. You don't really have to mix it in. Uh, the RIT dye more is liquid form. Uh, because it's liquid, it doesn't cooperate well with the shaving cream. It tends to kind of kill it. And uh, so I tend, that's the reason I'm using a glue base. A lotion base would also be fine. Uh, the powder from the iodide poly is Good in shaving cream, although it does make streaks. Good for galaxy effects and other things. Um, so anyway, we've poured the uh, 
the wedge type shape. I don't need it to be amazingly deep in uh, its color or anything. I just need it to you know kind of stay in one spot. And so I'm gonna just kind of set this down in here. That seems fine. I'm gonna push it down because I really want the die to get into that one lone spot that I left unmasked. It's kind of not cooperating, so whatever. As long as it gets it mostly colorful, it should be fine. Um, with shaving cream, it's usually perfectly fine. Uh, 12 hours is enough to get a good, decent color. Um, if you want to do more, obviously you can get, like, depending on the amount of dye you use and the uh, um, quantity of dye and then the, the material you're using as the base to hold the dye, uh, you can get a really rich, and I'll, I'll show some pictures of some other dyes that I did. Um, one of them has found the pond at Waldron, which is sad because it was kind of a cool fiber dye. It wasn't what I was looking for, but it was still pretty fun. And then uh, this one, we basically just throw on the shelf. Uh, the, the glue won't quite uh, dry out and become hard um, overnight with that much glue. So that's kind of the secret to that is like, you know, uh, as long as it stays liquid, dye will continue to get into the, the fabric of the disc or material of the disc. Not fabric, it's not fabric. They're not made out of cotton. Yeah. Um, and, uh, we just let it sit. Uh, so tomorrow, I, I did say, you know, today we're dying discs. Technically today and tomorrow we're dying discs. I'm just going to set this somewhere safe. You can put it in your garage. You can put it in an attic. You can put it anywhere it's not going to be messed with or eaten by dogs. Can't imagine why a dog would eat glue. Um, I was going to say away from your kids. The kids might eat glue. Uh, and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. All right, it's been 24 hours in the glue. Let's see, Let's clean it off and see what it looks like. At first glance, it's kind of a weird swirl, a little more uh, mixed than I was expected. I'm gonna take this tape off the rest of the way and see what it looks like. I think, uh, I think it's gonna be plenty visible for the video that I wanna do. Got a bunch of glue mixed with dye still on the tape. And there we have it. So I know it's not super dark or very impressive at all, but that should be enough to do the future video that I was planning on doing. And, uh, you know, you get some cool little swirls and things, like with the glue. Um, you can use really, like I said, lotion, glue. I wanted this to be a little darker, but it's going to work for, for what I want it for. And this is, like I said, a very basic, basic dye. Um, so. Mission accomplished, and uh, hopefully I'll have that other video out whenever I can get Zach out here. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. This video is unofficially sponsored, absolutely not officially sponsored by Yingling.